on Great Day KC. In our next half hour, survive and thrive. We open up on the chapters on divorce and how to get through it. Now, speaking of snakes, do you got one in your love life? Yikes. <laughs> well, we're counting down the days to a new season with many of us prepping for a good spring cleaning. Well, don't just clean out your closet. Spring cleaning in more ways than one, including your love relationships. Yeah, here to help you clean out your closet and your life after divorce is best-selling author and the divorce coach. We have Sarah Davidson. Welcome to Great Day KC. Oh, Welcome. thanks for having me. <laughs> so you have a best-selling book, Uncomfortable uncoupling how to survive and thrive after breakup and divorce. Tell us about it. Well, it's everything I wish I'd known when I went through my own really difficult divorce mm -hmm. about 13 years ago. And I realized there wasn't really any specific tools or techniques to help people through. So I put together a guide to help people with the emotional roller coaster and then also the practical challenges people face. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you talked about uh, 13 years ago. Is that what inspired you to write this book? Absolutely. I was absolutely devastated by my breakup, as I know a lot of people watching will sure. probably relate with, right? So having been a coach for a long time, I decided to combine my coaching skills with how to get through that divorce process. Yeah, and is. that's what I share now with people all over the world. And it really is a difficult process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, can you take us briefly through some ways to spring clean your relationships? Absolutely. So it's a great time to now spring clean your whole X out of your life, but yeah. also detox them out. So one of the things that keeps us stuck is that is our environment. So thinking about walking around your home and just noticing anything that upsets you, anything that triggers those mm. painful pangs, mm -hmm. thinking about your ex or the heartbreak. Mm -hmm. It could be a mug that you make your first morning coffee in that your ex bought you from somewhere or a t-shirt you wear. Little things maybe you're not registering, but they add to your heartbreak and keeping you stuck and thinking about your ex. So mm. boxing them up and putting them aside out of the way is one way to help you start that process. Sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Got to get rid of that mug and that t-shirt, ladies. <laughs> and fellas as well. Absolutely. Now you have a pot podcast. Uh, tell us about that. So my heart, my, it's called Heartbreak to Happiness, my mm -hmm. podcast, and it really is me talking about all the different ways that you can use in every different breakup scenario mm -hmm. to power through. Take your power back and a chance to redesign your life after your breakup. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be doom and gloom. It's very much empowering, helping people to take their, their control back. Yeah, and now it's possible too. Absolutely. And you also have some other programs that are designed to help that you're launching. What can uh, viewers expect when participating? Yeah, well, we have online support groups so you can come on and meet other people going through similar issues and challenges and they're run by my accredited coaches so they can give you help and advice as well we also do one-to-one -one coaching mm -hmm. I run retreats online and in person um, and I train people to do what I did and turn their pain into their power and become a breakup and divorce coach as yeah. well so, oh okay yeah that is something that is really hitting me right now because when you go through a divorce, you kind of lose a sense of yourself. You yeah, lose you sort do. of your identity because your identity was wrapped up in that marriage and that other person. And so you're kind of in a state of like defeat. And what you have to do, what you said, is take your power back mm -hmm. and become a, you know, a new you. Absolutely, and a lot of the work we do is just looking at learning the lessons from the past. Really important to bank those because life has a funny way, doesn't it, of teaching you the same lessons over Very and over true. again until you take them on board. So absolutely. And now coming into springtime, it's a great time to start detoxing your life emotionally and your environment as well. Detox. Oh, yeah, I love that word. <laughs> Detox and spring cleaning. Time <laughs> to take our power. Back. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you, Sarah, so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. 